right, so this is the before of my model. And as you can see, my model had hair down to her waist. This is waistline length hair. And we're going for a pretty big change. We're cutting it up to the middle of her back. So there's a lot of length that's coming off. Having said that, there's still a lot of length that's left. It's still very long hair, but if you notice how much hair is coming off on each cut, we take quite a bit off. So the way I'm starting this haircut is I take a center section down the back, dividing the right side from the left side. Then I take A-line sections to create the section to comb down, at which point I'm going to cut that hair. So take a peek as I establish the length before we cut in the layers. So it's now time to start cutting in the layers. So I take a center section in the middle of the back and I divide the hair from the right side to the left side. And I take this very first section where I'm going to direct it straight back. And I'm going to establish this very first layer by cutting the hair straight back. And from this point forward, this will be the guide for the rest of the layers throughout the hair. So, as you can see, I'm combing the hair straight back, and then what I'm doing is I'm cutting off that big corner that you get when you cut a one length trim, and I'm lifting the layer up and rounding the top. You can see right there, rounding the top. What that does is it takes the layer a little bit shorter by rounding it. Having a rounder layer versus a square layer will make the hair a little bit lighter and a little bit fuller.
So I've completed cutting the layers on the left side, and as you can see, I'm now starting up the layers on the right side. Once I complete cutting all the layers in, I will blow dry the hair straight, and then we will go through and cross check the layers after the hair is all dry. So as you can see, the hair is all dry and it is now time to cross check the layers. So I originally did the layers using vertical sections and typically when you cross check, you will cross check using opposite sections. So in this particular case, since I did vertical sections to cut it, we're going to do horizontal sections to cross check it. So now that I've cross-checked the layers, it is time to strengthen up and cross-check the outline. So as you can see right here, I'm just going through, combing the hair straight down and cutting any graduation that's sneaking out from underneath the outline. I'm going to cut that graduation off and give it a nice precision outline. to the end of this haircut and as you can see we cut a lot of length off of this hair but there's still a lot of length left so we wanted to put some long layers into the haircut to make it lighter and fuller and as you can see as I'm playing with the hair there's a lot of bounce in this long hair look at all of the layering all of the fullness that's what you get when you layer long heavy hair there's a lot more lightness a lot more airiness a lot more volume and a lot more fullness and that is also very nice when you've got long, thick, healthy hair like my model that tends to just weigh down if she was to keep it a one length trim. And so that is why we chose to do some layering. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please don't forget to put them down in the comment section below. If you like this haircut, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And thank you so very much again for watching.